So today we're gonna be talking about the optimization station and how it works and some tips and tricks for all of you guys, new returning players or players who've been playing for a while and are still struggling how to fully optimize your gear and to do it efficiently, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head into the base of operation. If you guys don't know where it is, as soon as you guys come into the base of operation, you head over to the left. You guys have, you guys know, we're gonna come back to this. We have the crafting station and then we have a recalibration station. So the recalibration station is where they added the optimization station and you click on this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna optimize one piece so you guys can see. Um, so we have this piece right here, right? So I went to my holster. Um, you guys can see everything's maxed out. The armor on the core attribute isn't maxed out. So all I have to do is select it. And then at the bottom, it's gonna show me exactly what I need to fully max it out. The next time I ro roll this, it will be maxed out. And we need, you can look really closely. You can see that it's a holster symbol. So we need holsters, that's 24. We need, um, I forget, I think that's for control points. We'll have to double check. I think that's for Rikers and we'll see in a second. I'll show you guys where you guys can look all this up. And then we have the thing. And if you hit L2, it shows you all the resources. So right here, where is it? We have um, Rikers, correct. And then we have the field recon data. And then where else did we need that? Um, that was it, right? So Rikers, field recon, and it shows you exactly what you guys need to do to get any of this. Now, I'll show you a quick way to craft this stuff if you guys don't have that. So I have it, and all I have to do is hit square, and it will optimize, right? So boom, and that's how you fully optimize. You guys see I rolled status effects on there to get max status effects, and then I fully optimized this piece, so this piece has got rolled it now. Now, that is how you guys optimize. And one tip I will give you guys right off the bat, so like if you have a piece that needs a lot of rolling, like this piece right here, it's going to be... The first time I roll it, it's not gonna be too expensive, but if you notice, I'll have to do it a few times. And the best trick I will recommend is if you can find a piece that is closer to being maxed out, it's gonna save you a lot of materials. So that might be something you still farm for. Now, if you don't get lucky with that, and you just wanna optimize this out, you're gonna just have to like farm a little. But if you look right here, right there, we have the chest place. So every time we deconstruct um, chest pieces, we'll get one of those. Um, we also have the, what was that, BTSU. So we'll look over here. So yeah, so we have the Black Tusk right there. So it's defeating Black Tusk bosses. And then, but the easiest way to get any of this, yeah, you'll get this from the bosses, but you know, you don't really fight that many bosses. The easiest way to honestly get all this when you don't have those materials, like say the BTSU, so, um, like us you want to come over here to the crafting Anything station right so we come to the crafting station we go all the way down to the bottom and you can see this little thing that says optimization 21 to 21 you click on this and now this is what gets really good i feel like all the materials you need for your weapons that's easy because just farming control points deconstructing everything you'll start to get these right and the same goes with like the backpacks the gloves but i feel these right here the faction materials are the hardest to get but you can actually craft these. You can craft all of them. Like this one right here, um, cause steel, um, carbon fiber, printer filaments for all of them. And there's a few ways you guys can get all these materials pretty quick and pretty easy. First is just doing control points and you'll fill up on these really fast. If you do a bunch of control points in a day, you'll notice that you get a lot of these materials without having to farm them. Now, if you're short some materials and you're wondering how you guys can get them, um, besides just doing like open world farming for those boxes, a few tricks you guys can do is head over to your watch, right? You go to your watch, your shade level. So we have scavenging. Um, you can get a lot of your materials here. Look, your printer filament, you can get here. Now you get this from um, deconstructing mods, but yeah, you can get, you can add that. And then if you need those shade um, calibration, you get there, field recon datas, you can get here. And you can get all that just by using your your watch. And remember, if you share your watch on all three of your characters or four of your characters, all the points you have on your other character, like I think I have a hundred on my other character, I can hop over there, use the points to get ceramics or you get titanium, and then I can come back to this character and then use it. Now this vendor right here, she will have Sorry, two I'm blueprints that say but that you wanna share you your happy. resources with all your characters and share everything. So you wanna buy both of those on all your characters so that way they share. So that means these, um, if you go to your resources and we go down, all these resources will always be shared 
within all four characters, which is great because if you farm on one character, really it's great. And it really know. works really good Don't because once you do that, your watch and you have your le watch leveled up. Remember, as you're leveling up on one character, your watch continues to level up on your other characters. So you'll have all those points. That's why I've told you guys, create more than one character for that watch. And if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put a link down below. Now, another thing you guys should take advantage of is during global events is a great time to get a lot of materials pretty fast because you're just gonna be playing, right? Just turn the global event on and then you'll get these stars. This is something new that they added. So you have weapon crafting cash, 40 steel, 40 polycarbonate, 30 carbon fiber, 30 titanium. You go over here, you have gear crafting cash. You go over here, you have recalibration crafting cash. Here, named items, optimization cash. I feel like don't waste your stuff on the optimization, but definitely waste your stuff on weapon, gear, recalibration, and stuff like this. This stuff right here, 100% is um is pretty cool, and it's it's great way to get stuff. So like this is what I usually do. Like when I'm when I'm low on stuff, I'll look at which one I'm low on. Usually these are the four that you're gonna be low on, or these right here. These are the four: titanium, electronics, steel, ceramics. Depending on what you're trying to upgrade, if you're upgrading a lot of gear pieces, I feel like this one right here is the one that you guys are gonna want. So, and the cool thing is about is when you guys buy these, you can always hold on to them. So before global event, buy a few of them. And they'll be sitting right here for you. So if you look right here, I have both of them. So I don't have to open them up right now. I can save that and I know I have 65, 65, 70, 70. So that's another tip you guys can do um, is during this global event, which I believe we're gonna check right now is going on for a little bit. So we go over the seasons. Um, so there's three days left on this global event. So take advantage of it, head over here, use all these. It's pretty easy just playing just playing with the global event on, you're gonna get points. You're gonna get those stars. And that's another easy way. But like I told you guys, if you guys have the time, spend three hours, make a new character, use a 30 level boost if you have Warlords, which you guys should if you guys are gonna have the watch, right? Because the watch is tied to Warlords. And beat, beat, it, beat it. it takes you about like three hours, three hours, four hours. And then as soon as you go with it, if you guys are above level 1000, or as you guys are even as you guys are leveling up your regular watch, this is gonna continue to grow and you can use these scavenging for resources and stuff like that. But that's just a little tip on the optimization station. Remember, crafting is probably gonna be your best way to fully optimize pieces over and over. And that's how I've been doing it. I've just been going back and forth from between characters, farming different control points just to get materials. I'm deconstructing everything I have. So if you look, I have a lot of these. But um, if you need any of these, you can craft them. And that's what's really cool. But I think this is the hardest things to get because they come from faction bosses most of the time or from the, the summit. So if you guys are looking for this to craft it, all you really need is the materials. You can do that. They always give you 10. And then once you have that, you just head back over here nice to, see you. to the optimization station, pick something that you guys want to optimize. So we'll click on the pistol. Say we want to optimize this. You look at what you need. You can see I'm short on damage to targets out of cover, right? So I mean 13 and then I need the black tusk, but I can actually craft that over there and then use it. So that's just a little tip trick I have for you guys. If you guys are still having trouble on optimizing and how to get more resources, remember just focus on farming materials like steel, electronics, and then you just come over here and that's how you'll get all the materials you need. And then do a bunch of control points because that's where you'll get a lot of stuff. Um, Every time you level up, if you don't need the stuff that comes from the field proficiency, open it up like I'm doing right now. Just click on it. Instead of selling it, just mark it for deconstruction. We'll go here, mark this one for deconstruction. Go here, I'm gonna mark this one. And these are the final two things. This one, I think it's one more. So there, and then just deconstruct it. And you'll see, look, I got the knee pads, mask. I got one steel, submachine gun. Thing. And that's what I do. I just deconstruct all those materials over and over and over. And that's how I've been able to get this, um, been able to max out some of my pieces on some of my gear. And yes, it does take a little bit of farming, but this is so much easier than what it once was. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys still have any questions, um, that's what I'm here for. I will see you guys in the next Division 2 video. But until then, nothing but skills. Anymore.